Keeping up with news and police advisories can help you sometimes to recognize and avoid scams. Two local business veterans, including a construction firm owner and a retired building surveyor, were deceived by a Singaporean scammer named Don. The victims believed the story, which involved various government agencies supposedly preventing the release of the inheritance. So, what can we learn from this case? Inheritance scams have been around for many years, yet people still fall victim to these schemes. This case recounts how two seasoned business professionals were deceived by a scam promising a hefty inheritance release, resulting in significant financial losses. Here's how the scam worked. Two local business veterans, including a construction firm owner and a retired building surveyor, were deceived by a Singaporean scammer named Don. Don claimed that an inheritance of over $60 million could be released after paying $2 million in terms of fees. The victims believed the story, which involved various government agencies supposedly preventing the release of the inheritance. The construction firm owner borrowed money from his former business partner, the retired building surveyor, who lent $2.6 million in hopes of a $1 million interest return and a potential consultant position. Don was eventually jailed for seven years in 2016 for cheating, having used the scammed money to pay off debts and to live lavishly, with none of the funds recovered. The surveyor sued his former partner in the courts to recover his $2.6 million loan, and the court found the partner liable for fraudulent misrepresentation, ordering repayment with interest. So what can we learn from this case? Number one, stay informed to avoid scams. Keeping up with news and police advisories can help you sometimes to recognize and avoid scams. Knowing the legal procedures for inheritance disputes and money release can also prevent you from falling for fraudulent claims. Number two, be wary of lucrative deals. Question deals offering exorbitant returns. Genuine financial needs usually lead people to banks or relatives, not strangers. The promise of $6 million for helping claim a $60 million inheritance should have already raised red flags for the victims. Number three, avoid overselling investments. If you lack expertise in the business, avoid making overly optimistic claims to persuade friends or partners. Misleading statements that lead to financial losses can result in lawsuits and liability for fraudulent misrepresentation. Number four, recognize the warning signs. Paying large sums to release funds is illogical. Always verify such claims with legal and financial advisors. Claims involving high-level government approvals or secretive processes are usually fraudulent. This case serves as a stark reminder that scams continue to evolve and vigilance is key to protecting ourselves from financial fraud. By staying informed, questioning too-good-to-be-true deals and being honest in business dealings, you can safeguard yourself from falling prey to such deceptions. If you found this helpful, follow and subscribe to our channel for more legal things.